Happy Sunday. That's what today is. Thanks for watching Funk Shop TV. We are now on episode number seven of season three. If you haven't watched any Funk Shop TV yet, you can catch the previous episodes on YouTube.com. Everybody's got a YouTube app. If you don't have a YouTube app, you're probably not watching this because you probably don't even have a phone that you can have apps on. YouTube.com forward slash Funk Shop TV. Watch season one, watch season two. There's some really funny stuff. Um, I'm Biggs. I'm your main host, the anchor. Probably the anchor because I weigh more than everybody else does. But funny thing about that is I float. Um, I will be your main host now and for eternity. Behind the boards is Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi. What's Hi. up, Michael? Not much. Michael's flipping through camera angles and stuff, go. and also babysitting our sound, making sure it sounds right. That's me. That's Michael. <laughs> also with us today is Anthony. We all, we call him Lackey. Anthony is Lackey, although you really haven't had to do a whole lot of Lackey type stuff yet. Yet. Yeah. Uh, are we talking about how later, if we get to 50 followers, I have to drink a gallon of milk? That's a pretty lackey event. That is a very lackey yes. event. But, so, I mean, we're only at 32, so we need, like, 18 more. So, if you're watching this right now, tell everybody, and I'll drink a gallon of milk and probably puke it everywhere. Uh, not everywhere. All over the ground. No. Into no. a bucket. Into a... There you go. <laughs> we're going to make sure that there is a bucket nearby, because I, I don't want your milk puke all over my garage floor no don't worry it'll be all over you specifically definitely don't need your milk <laughs> you are not my child you're not gonna spit up on me all right oh it's not spit up that is vomit this is a man no puke. you know what if you if you get more than halfway through a gallon of milk and you blow it's gonna be like baby spit up it's probably gonna smell just as sour i really like milk I, I get that, man, but I I used to love milk. I went through a phase where I, I would drink a whole lot, but I don't think that I could ever sit and drink a gallon, especially in an hour. In a day, in yeah. In an hour? That's easy. I thought we were doing like five minutes. No. No. The, the challenge, um, for anybody that doesn't know, the challenge is that you can drink a gallon of milk in an hour without throwing up. Oh, I've got... Oh, this is... I got this in the bag. If anybody thinks I'm wrong, follow. Subscribe. All the things you have to do, and we'll find out just how wrong I may or may not be. I don't think I'm going to be very wrong here. But I never think I'm wrong. You guys can prove me that I'm wrong. I know you all hate me, so you might as well try. Move, move the microphone in front of your face. I moved the microphone in front of my face. There you go. Um... We don't have a whole lot to talk about right now, because we're going to have a script for 8 o'clock, maybe. 
We just did a show. David McDevitt, who is running for Southwest Washington Congress, he wants to be our congressional representative, just joined us. If you didn't get to see it and you want to see it, the YouTube link will be up soon on Facebook's page, Facebook forward slash Funk Shop TV. Just like everything else, we're going to just brand the shit out of Funk Shop TV. Hey, Dead Jedi, who are you? Dead Jedi 420, what up? He must be blazing. Blazing. Is, is it Deady Jedi? Oh, it's Dead Eye Jedi. What does Dead Eye Jedi mean? Like maybe he's a Dead Eye Jedi, like, like like a Jedi with one eye, like Luke Skywalker, or the Jedi. like Luke like he, Skywalker. Sh- he was like really good at shooting people. Like he was oh, a Jedi. like a like a marksman yeah. Jedi. Like See, I thought like maybe he, he had a Jedi, rats. so he was like he was like a pirate and has an eye patch. Either that, or he shoots womp rats for fun. Womp rats. <laughs> that must be a Star Wars thing. Yeah. Look, man, I saw the the original first three back in like the nineteen seventies and nineteen eighties, but I haven't seen any of the newer ones at all. Uh. <laughs> Dead Eye Jedi, our deepest and darkest fears manifested into reality. Um, well, that sounds like a lot of fun. This must be Noel. No, <laughs> there's probably not Noel, but that sounds about right. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of fears, but I don't think you are any of oh, them. Oh, it's Ron. Oh. He's close. Know, that was Ron. close. That, that's a close. It's close funny. Ron know. messaged me earlier, and um, he's like, how's your day going? And I was like, oh, we're setting up for the show. And then I started asking him if he had certain things that we needed for the show, like sheets for the backdrop or microphones he was like no i have microphone cables i have we microphone have microphone cables. cables we have millions of those i'm guaranteed we could probably go back and forth across a football field probably 40 50 60 <laughs> times with the amount of microphone cable i have what do you think michael if yeah, we hooked I them all so. together how far do you think it would reach i think that's our next challenge uh, yeah no because <laughs> no, i don't because we're gonna have to wrap them all up after it's over i'm not doing that hey ron do you want to do it no, because I don't want my microphone cables ruined either. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do it either. No, no. But shout out, Ron. Thanks for watching. We appreciate the follow. This whole show, this is, we, we got to do this like a telethon, like Jerry's Kids type stuff, um, because we still need ha- 28 followers. No, less. Nice. How many do we need? Oh, we have 32, 18. right? We need 18. See, my math is not very good today. Hey, it's Ron, been share a this. rough weekend. Share yeah, all your yeah. non-existent friends. Make them watch. So 18 viewers are needed. I'm making a note of it right now. It what might be lower it? by that point. Too hot. Oh. 6.40 p.m. Yep. He's not interested. Not today. He knows how to wrap cables, though. Oh, man. I have bins and boxes of wires that need to be organized. Oh, sweet. Come do that, Ron. And then uh, you can I'm, be on the show for like five minutes. I'm not doing it this week. Luckily, my uh, very good friend, Michael, very, very good friend, Michael, took the week off. So he's on vacation this week. How's it feel to be be on vacation this week, Mike? For the oh, first time awesome. ever? No, for, no, second time, actually. Last year, I took one over in Vegas for five days. Oh, yeah. there you go. So, yeah, so being on vacation, a.k.a. staycation, because <laughs> I decided to stay home this time to get, you know, sorted out and kind of relax and just chilled instead of spending some money to go somewhere that can yeah. actually stay home this time and help out, you know, with the garage and get this all set up and going. Sounds about right. Yeah. So, yeah, it feels hella good just to be away from whatever whatever I do. The monotony? Yeah, exactly. The, the monotony exactly. of the, the same monotony. thing yeah. over and over and over? Yeah. Yeah. The, I get that. The right. monotony <laughs> of selling barbecues and plant <laughs> feed? Yeah. And whatever else you're selling at what? the time? So, what? What? What, what would you say... Ron, someday we're going to get you on the show. Um, Wait, Ron, you could come today if we end up with yeah, you can one come at eight o'clock if you person want. short. Yeah. Bring dinner. Somebody bring yeah. us dinner at 8 o'clock. Whoever brings be. dinner gets to hang out for like the entire show. Yeah, come get on the show. We have a few extra chairs here <laughs> if you want to be part of a live studio audience. We can do that too. And an extra mic, at least one. Uh, two. Wait, there's extra, another one of me? Kind of, what the hell? An extra, no, uh, extra microphone. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no extra Michaels, just an extra oh, mic. Oh, okay, M-I-C. Extra mic. Okay. Um, we are also, we don't know how to set up the donation page for Twitch yet. Yeah, it's kind of, I tried, I thought I did, apparently didn't. We need, uh, we need some donations so we can get some more microphones and some more cameras so Thanks, we can Ron. have some better camera angles and stuff. If you have any Logitech HD 1080p cams lying around that you're not using and you want to hook a brother up. That's a good donation too. Donate it to Funk Shop TV 
if you have any handheld microphones like this one except this one doesn't work very well it shorts <laughs> out a lot so sometimes we put it on mic because he talks the, le the least so sometimes he'll be talking and all of a sudden and then he would do it there was why having a working mic is important did you get that <laughs> wait till we watch yeah. that back we were like that was kind of clever that but was... now that we're sitting here we're like anthony and mike are both looking at me like what the it was fuck clever is no wrong I, with I got it i got it that? it's what gonna be like the mic was cutting out i got it okay i got okay. it <laughs> shared links to my facebook pages to the stream thank you ron we appreciate it you can go ahead and give us some topics to talk about because yeah, we Ron, do not we're have gonna a follow right your now. topics. We're, we're just going off the cuff. This is horribly dangerous asking Ron for any advice on any topic, but we're doing it right now. Look, man, if there's something that he types that I don't want to talk about, I'm gonna pretend he didn't type yeah, that. That's you fair. can talk about it all you want. Mike, you can talk about it all you want. There are certain topics I won't discuss. What about eating babies? Um, what kind of babies? Now, are Humanoid we talking chicken babies? babies? Because there are cultures that eat that. It's called balut pretty sure we're talking about human babies would you eat here. balut i would i don't Have know you what eaten a balut, balut is a chicken fetus i don't really like chickens you don't eat chicken i don't like chicken that much i'm a horrible you black guy the, balut, the, the chicken fetus like before they come out of the egg yeah they're almost like the about to hatch they're good. the developed chick that's ready to hatch. it's inside a chicken egg. fetus inside the egg yeah and you crack the egg and you eat it yeah uh, hey ron eats pig babies that's good to know. Can we get a topic, Ron? He doesn't eat pig babies. I don't believe that either. Did he say that? <laughs> yeah. I don't see it. He says, I eat pig You're babies. He says, hey, now I can be respectful. Yeah, I eat pig babies. Hilarious. Which side of that is live? Oh, my side. Yeah, I see that now. The right side. This is the first time I've sat bacon seeds. close enough to the controls where I can oh, see right. them. Pig babies are bacon seeds, he says. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah, the last thing I see is I shared links to my fa Facebook pages to the stream. So, my chat died apparently. Apparently. So now's your chance to ask anything stupid. Anthony is going to have to relay the question. I'll totally answer it. It'll yeah, be great. Will. So once again, thanks for watching. This is again season three. In case you're just tuning in, Funk Shop TV. You can catch up on all of the past episodes at youtube.com forward slash Funk Shop TV. You're watching us live, twitch.tv forward slash Funk Shop TV. And we need follows. <coughs> if I could walk you through the follow process, since you're probably watching via Twitch right now. And if you're not following us, you're watching us as a guest, I would, but I don't know oh, how. There's a super easy way. If you're watching it on your phone, tap on the screen. There's a little heart in the top right corner. Press it. Is that easy? Super easy. Oh, shnikes. Yeah. I see that now. Yeah, it's that easy. Why isn't Cheese Whiz real cheese? I'm not answering this. Uh, Because it comes in a can? Seems pretty simple. So real cheese can't be in a can, Paul? A percentage of real cheese probably can, but if it's real cheese, I don't think it can be 100% can processed. <laughs> but Packed it, with air. It might not be processed in the can. I don't think you're going to get like a block of Tillamook cheddar in a can with aerosol projectile behind it. How do you do that I guess on cheese your was, life? Cheese was comes in a jar, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes it does. Yeah, I, I thought that Actually, was always the spray. No, I've seen cheese. Whiz I know they in a have jar. Miracle Whip in a jar. Yeah, but Miracle Whip comes in a jar anyways. They have Miracle Whip spray uh, too, I think. Uh, I don't. Uh, there's a squeeze bottle, but it's not aerosol projected. Probably not. Oh. Uh, did we die? No. <laughs> did, I'm still alive. Are you still alive? Uh, hey, Nolan, we're in a we're oh. in a fort because it's. Francis, Dad is trying to find it on TV. Great. How do you Shush. find the feed on TV? Uh, you can't. You have to be on a computer. Yes. Live feed won't come up on a TV unless you're using your Xbox. Or PlayStation or tablet. Just any or app. Or computer or phone. Yeah. Even smart TVs don't have a Twitch app in them. So, unfortunately, or, or you cannot you watch this via the television until the episode goes on YouTube. <coughs> and if you are on Comcast, you can go into the YouTube app and watch us there. But if you have a smart TV, you can go to Twitch.tv. Forward slash funk shop. Oh, smart TVs have they have a web browser. Yeah, yeah, if they have yeah, a web browser. If yeah. it has a web browser. Then you can go to okay. that. Okay. You don't need the actual app. I'm I'm pretty confident Xfinity probably will be adding a web browser to the No one asked soon. why we're hiding in a fort. 
<laughs> Does it look like we're in a blankie fort? Uh, this is our backdrop. It'll be much fancier at some point, maybe. I want to get. I'm. I have the. Oh, is it catching up? Oh no! I I see. Mom said, "Hey." So there's more messages below. Where's the last one? The last one is still. I shared <laughs> links to my Probably Facebook pages. Bring it back up. Just yeah, close it and reopen it. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. So but no, guys, Ron, no. How was your week? Oh, it's back on me now. This well, is this now back to uh, all again. <laughs> Oh, you can go back to Anthony. No, what? We're, are we fighting over what we're is. not going on? There it is. Who's NM Cole? No one. Oh. Does that mean no more Cole? Like she uh, she doesn't ever want to see Anthony again? <laughs> That's her maiden name, I believe. <laughs> Never more good. Cole? Uh, it's no her Cole. first name, middle name. Cole was her maiden name. No motherfucking Or not her maiden Cole? name. That was her uh, married that name. <laughs> no motherfucking Cole. That was her married name. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. So I they, when I got hired, she got me hired from a job. When okay. I got hired, they were like, are you related to her? Like, that's the name. I'm like, no. Oh. No, we're just friends. We're good. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um. Yeah, you guys got play catch up. Oh, Ron left. Yep. Yeah, he. Uh, he said he's out of five thousand. He sent me this message that I probably shouldn't read on air. Uh oh. Okay. Well, cool. Nolan, I'm glad you're watching. Thank you for watching. That was backwards. Sorry, Nolan. I love your face. Miss you. I miss DJ and at Rose and Thorn, so you could shake your bomb bomb with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> what? So just missed the days. I actually just missed that. So. Bef before we start, before we started talking to Ron, um, I wanted to know, dude, what what would you say are your top ten items that you have to sell to people working in the garden center <laughs> at Walmart? Top ten items. Are we still on me? Yeah. <laughs> Top ten items that I would sell. I want to scratch you my mean, nose. Like, Can you mean like our number me? one sellers at Walmart? Our top ten number one sellers. Yeah. Pool supplies, barbecue, uh, charcoal. You know what? If we get another stand, we can actually uh, make this a you. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, this is the important things. Soil, uh, fertilizer. So far, actually, we don't have a top. I'm sure there is a top. I'm sure you just don't oh, yeah. have it recorded yourself. Top ten, I should say. Top ten. Well, I'm sure there. Somebody could go into a computer system and type, you know, pull up the top ten items that are <laughs> sold. Yeah. But you you just don't really know it off the top of your head. No, because I'm always selling barbecues, charcoal, soil, and pool supplies, which we're you know we're out. You're out of Wait, pool supplies. Why are you talking about me about work? I'm on vacation, bro. <laughs> this is fair. No, <laughs> I'm on vacation. I don't want to know. No. Because it's, you know what, we're just yeah. trying to find stuff to talk about. I know. About, we're I sitting know. Here give us topics. I know. She was just thinking about that the other day. Fran, mm -hmm. give us topics. Wait. Whoever's watching right now, give us topics. My, There's six of you watching. My mom Three was, of them are probably us. But. She called me because she was disappointed. Um, oh, Nolan's missing a lot of stuff. It's laggy. Sorry, Nolan. Um. My mom was disappointed because she missed the last episode that we just uh, filmed about an hour she ago. She would have loved that. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Um, and like I said, the YouTube link will be up soon. If it's not already, I, I thought I posted it. Um, but don't don't go watch it yet because you're watching us live right now. So stay here. Stay right here. We're going to be here talking for a while until we need to take a dinner break before we come back at 8 o'clock. If anybody brings us dinner, you get to be on the second show, or the third show? Third, third. show. Yeah. First show was just an uh, interview with David, so we kept it short and sweet. Um, but it was very informative. And ballots. Everybody's got their ballots by now if you're a registered voter. If you're not a registered voter and you don't have a good excuse like you did something stupid... So you're in the penal system, so you can't register to vote? Penal system. <laughs> penal. <laughs> he said, this he's is why he's penal. lucky. Um, he's so if you don't have, a, um, you're, if you're not currently on paper, basically, um, 
you can be registered to vote. So that is the only reason why you shouldn't have a ballot. And if you have a ballot, there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't fill it out and get it turned in by 8 p.m. on Tuesday. You getting this? You seeing how serious I am here? He's super serial. Fill out your ballots. I say it on every episode. I will say it until the day that I die. Vote. Because right now it is still a privilege. Right now it is still a freedom. Right now it is still a responsibility. Um, and our freedoms are being taken away. Voters' rights are being taken away. People are being axed off of their voting ballots for one reason or another. Um we have powers in the White House that are successfully changing laws or reversing laws that were put into effect years ago for various reasons, and the whole purpose is to limit who their voting audience is. We need to pay attention. We need to vote. We need to put people in Congress and in Senate that are going to represent us. Um, because if you don't vote, you might as well just keep your mouth shut. Don't complain about anything if you didn't vote because you're not doing your part in trying to make sure the people are representing us to help keep things the way they should be going for the American public. We the people have a voice and we need to use it. So make sure you're voting. I thought the talk with David was a very, very um, informative talk. I hope you catch the episode if you didn't watch live. Um, but above all else, I, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. Just do it. Voting is so important. We don't have an electoral college when it comes to congressional votes. We have our voice. And last numbers that were taken, it was about 18, oh, didn't David say like 19% of registered voters have turned in their ballots? That's horrid. Horrible. Be responsible. So that's all I'm going to say about that for right now, but I'll probably bring it up again in about five minutes. <laughs> um... Anybody got questions? Anybody questions. Got Ask something? us all the questions. Share this. Share it with everybody. Share, share, share. Follow us. Funk Shop TV right here on Twitch. Follow, follow, follow. Add us on Twitter. Add, add, add. We could Funk do a Shop poll. TV. What are we doing for dinner? Are you worried about food right now? I'm really hungry. I'm hungry too. I haven't, we haven't eaten all day. No. I, I, I ate it like I had, 11. That was last I had a poppy night. seed muffin with almond slices on I top. was at breakfast when I texted I, you guys for the first time this morning. That was... Uh, you like were at 11. breakfast? Yeah. At breakfast where? IHOP. You were at IHOP. So at least you had a full meal today. Or even something. I didn't eat very much. I'm a fat good dude. Let me tell you something. You Let's said talk you don't about eat much though. Let, no, I don't. Let, I finished my dinner last night though. And that's what I'm getting into this story. Um, we did a wedding yesterday. Huh. Jessica filled in because they didn't have a coordinator, so she was assisting. She wasn't paid to be there, but she worked her ass off. She was sweating. I was sweating. We were upstairs in a barn that doesn't have AC. It's a barn. So we were upstairs in a barn. There were about 200 to 250 guests at this wedding. At the top of a barn? Upstairs in a barn. Okay. The ceremony was outside, but then everybody came inside. Um, luckily, we had to... Well, not necessarily luckily, but we had to be there Friday for the rehearsal, which <coughs> doesn't really happen. So if you're getting married... You can play your rehearsal music off of your phone or get a boombox with a CD. Get one of those little stereo speakers that Bluetooth to your phone. You don't have to have the DJ there to set up the equipment for the rehearsal. And if any DJ is setting up for a rehearsal, make sure you are compensated for it. Make sure you're charging for it. So Too many DJs are DJing for pennies these days, and it's killing the industry. It's really doing a lot of damage. If a plumber was going around fixing toilets for free, plumbers wouldn't be able to make their prevailing wage. It's the way it is with any job across the country. All of you burger flippers, how are you going to feel when you're replaced by machines? It'll happen. It could happen eventually. We don't. Some places are trying it, but I don't think it's going to work. I, I think manpower is going to be always necessary. We are training our kids to be sheep to be able to flip burgers. Getting a trained position is not easy anymore and college isn't worth it the money you pay for what you're going to get out of it the, the rewards is not worth it anymore um but for djs if you are calling yourself a dj and you have equipment to go and do gigs and you're not pricing accordingly shoot yourself 
Nail your pecker to a stump, set the stump on fire, and cut yourself free with a rusty butter knife. That's how I feel about that. So we worked out our tails off. Michael, if, if Michael and Jessica weren't there to help me yesterday, I would have died. Um, and it was it was a beautiful wedding. The bride and groom are fantastic people. But the bridesmaids seemed to be bridezillas in this one. It was weird. People were bossing Jessica around like she was getting paid to be there. Nobody even bothered to ask any of the three of us if we were hungry. We were there since 1 p.m. And the thing wasn't supposed to be over until 11 p.m. After we had to go and set up for the rehearsal. We came home, got some sleep, went right back. Um, The compensation, because it was friends, it was a homie hookup. So I'm not even going to deal with that. But there was... Nobody tipped us. People were demanding what we what I played. It's crazy. People don't respect DJs anymore. And this is part of the reason why I'm thinking about just quitting getting a day job. Because if I'm going to punch a time clock for money to pay bills, I might as well just... I, I'm working under demand for the man anyways. I might as well just do it on my own terms. I, it's ridiculous. Um, so, hungry. We stopped at Muchos on the way home. And I ordered a combination meal, and I ate the whole thing. How often does that happen, Michael? Not too often. Michael, at all. Michael is almost you're you're with me when I have dinner ninety percent of the time. So I don't eat that much. But we ate our dinner last night like it was the best meal on earth. And today we got up because we had to work on the set to get everything set up to be able to do these podcasts, so we can get some followers to make Anthony chug a gallon of milk. And now we find out that while we were giving ourselves blood blisters yeah, <laughs> and dealing with getting bit by spiders and setting up this set, Anthony was at IHOP having breakfast. Well, it could have been IHOP. That was a joke. Was it, though? They released it. As, they, they, yeah, they said it was all a publicity stunt. Oh, I know. But I'm saying it could have been IHOP. It, I mean, not really relevant. What did you What did you eat? I had today, Anthony. Pancakes and what? And sausage. And what? Lemonade. And blueberries pancakes. You didn't have any eggs. No, I was not hungry. I told you that. I didn't eat that much. So you ate more than us. You know what I had to eat? Handful of nuts. <laughs> I need a laugh track right now so I can push a button and then crack it off. We like, really oh. do need to set those up, though. I like. will set them up. <coughs> By next week, I'll have them set up. No, I mean, I had a friend over. Quit talking to the side of the mic. I had a friend you over. Can, you can turn the mic if you want to lean over. There you I go. had... What? <laughs> just didn't help. You nope, like you. not allowed. <laughs> no. <Nuh-uh. laughs> Not tonight. So I'm not allowed to change the mic back, just in case you didn't see it. <laughs> it's, it doesn't like to hold the swivel. No, it's it's not. <laughs> it's not. This, watching this on cam is actually exhilarating. Anyways, uh, yeah. Screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I think the mic stand said, screw you. It says, you can't screw me. There you go. You got it now. Did it. Did it. I was just, I figured I needed to eat. I had been in bed since 9 a.m. last night, burnt a bunch of calories, needed to eat. He's been in bed since 9 a.m. last night. We've been in bed since, uh... Stop! Uh, Pause. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in bed since 9 a.m. last night. I went hiking yesterday. Oh. I didn't go hiking yesterday. Stop! Got it! Got it. Stop! Mike picked it up. Let's do this one more time. <laughs> He's been I in really bed that, since 9 a.m. last night. No, 9 p.m. last night. Oh, now yeah. you're correct, Dave. <laughs> My you bad. said 9 a.m. See, I'm still tired. Oh, yeah, we are too. I helped. We are too. Yeah, you did help. You helped raise the raise the trust. I did. I, I wasn't are, just I was useless. No, I know. At no. least I showed up. He helped That's raise true. the bar. That's true. Tom's Tom was busy painting his house, and then apparently I pissed him off, so he doesn't want to be part of our show anymore. So, Tom, if you're watching, I'm sorry. We love you, Tom. You, the guy that calls himself a comedian and always cracking jokes, is the one that got butt hurt when we ganged up on him on chat. So, Tom, get over it. 
<laughs> come back, be man. Be back, part of our cast. Come back. <laughs> come back. People Baby are watching come. and they're like, I'm not going to watch it anymore if Tom's not there. Baby, come Wait, back. who's that? Wait. Is nobody. Did somebody nobody, say that? No. I don't see no, it. I don't no. See it nobody said that. Okay. Didn't nobody think so. That. Um, and I'm surprised he didn't unfollow us now to make it harder <laughs> for you to have to chug the milk. One whole member harder. Yeah. So I'll just make another account if he does that. Yeah. I guess that's my um, fault. So the moral of the story today is Walmart sells barbecues. Yep. Tip and your, tip your DJ. They don't just sell barbecues; they sell fertilizer. Bring us dinner. Yeah, we need dinner. Dinner. And share this because we need followers that are actually going to get on and get into chat and type stuff for us to talk about. We'll be your best friends. And vote. Oh, if you if you if you show us that you voted, we'll do a shout out to you. If you can prove it. I'll, I'll do a shout out anyways, but. No, they, a special they shout out if you vote. Yeah, you get a super awesome shout out. Like, we'll say whatever you want as long as it's appropriate. Shout out to C. Belsky, Commander Root, C. Tuhulu Tutututs. That's me. <laughs> Dead Eye Jedi 420, still here. <coughs> <laughs> Electrical. Longboard. Electrical Longboard. Those are just the people who watch during this session. Fran Hammond. Mom. Land Fusion, NM Cole Three. That's Nolan and Slow Cool. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? Like I'm trying to read your screen, and the the font is little. So when I got to a electrical longboard, I had to pause because from here it looks like ejaculation something. Ejaculation longboard. <laughs> ejaculation board. I'm like, I need glasses. I really don't because looking at a laptop screen it's sideways it's not easy to see but this is true. i thought it said ejaculation board <laughs> so ejaculation board you should talk right now so you can clarify or else we're just gonna call you ejaculation board because you've watched every one of our streams yeah what, what makes the last you, couple weeks what makes the longboard electrical a motor that is powered by electricity maybe so it's like it's it's a longboard with a motor on it Maybe. I've seen skateboards like that. I didn't know long, like maybe, they made longboards like that. Maybe it like runs it. on like a, a alternator. So he has to get it going, but then it just keeps going by itself. Oh, so it's, it's self-generating. After? Yeah, sure. All right. Maybe like that, a windmill. That would be cool. We should do... Why are we not patenting these? <laughs> Why do we keep saying these out loud? What is wrong with <laughs> We're us? We're going to watch this later, and then somebody's going to do it, and it's going to be the Koch brothers. Yeah, probably. But, hey, Thanks. you know what? At least they're recycling energy and making renewable energy sources. I mean, yeah, if they're doing something good, like coal. So Yeah. Assholes. <laughs> Dicks. Assholes. Cox! So, hey, speaking of assholes, did you see what went on in Portland yesterday? Oh, man. I didn't, but I'm, I've heard of it. <laughs> there was a Proud Boy rally. Of course there was. There and it was, is. I was watching it. It was funny. I was watching it uh, on one of the local news channel uh, streams. And all, it, all the Proud Boys were around the fountain. If you take sap off my car windows, Nolan. Um, you. Why is my, my stuff keeps freezing? It's a remote so, that they use to make it go. Why are you ruining our electro power fantasy? <laughs> And my chat's froze again, so I can't even see that. This is not yeah, fair. Oh, don't worry. Mine hasn't updated yet since that, so... This is not fair. Uh, anyways, all the Proud Boys, Patriot Prayer Group, um, were surrounding the the fountain at Tom McCall Waterfront Park. You know, right on Salmon. Um, and on the opposite side of Front Avenue were the anti-Proud Boys Patriot Prayer Group. In the middle, on both sides of the street, were all of these cops in riot gear. It was it was ridiculous, and I could just imagine being first of all being an officer on either side has got to feel tense. But when you're in full riot gear in the sun, standing in one place in the road for hours, that's got to piss you off. Like that's just got it. I would have been mad. I would have been waiting for one side to start beating up the other side so we could break it all up and everybody go home. I, I would have been. what they were doing, honestly. They're that, like, this sucks. Dude, I, I was watch, watching this live stream. Somebody punch somebody else now. It was hilarious because the, the uh, counter protesters, the anti fascist side of the street, they had boom boxes and they were playing music and people were singing along and they were chanting. And 
maybe it was because of the where the camera people were but we couldn't hear any of the the other side of the street but i did see somebody waving a flag up in the air that it was at one pole one stick had the american flag and the don't tread on me flag you know the yellow flag with the coiled snake on the same stick that's against u.s flag code so you are a hypocrite you patriot you <laughs> fake christian Nolan. Get out of here with that shit. They didn't go in the park because they couldn't take weapons in the park. <laughs> but they were around the fountain. Isn't that considered in the park? I don't know. I've never been I, I did see one of them have put a call to Facebook that they were all going to be armed and, and practice their Second Amendment and bullshit. Get out of here. Carry your powder musket all you want. That's your Second Amendment right. That's all I'm going to say about that. Proud Boys. Oh, and Fred Meyer... They were supposed to, a bunch of people in Vancouver were supposed to meet at the Grand Fred Meyer <laughs> Grand. to be able to carpool or take oh. their buses. I heard one of my old buddies that many of us know that probably mm. would have been, probably would be actually a really good addition to the show. Honest to God truth. I don't agree with that. You don't know him like I do. I mean, maybe back then, probably not back now. Back then, probably not right now. now. Yeah. That's why I said would have been. Oh, I thought you meant, okay. Had he not become an extremist dickhead? Crazy asshole. Fuck face. I mean, we. Is it what I think it is? Yeah. Let's yep. quick. What, what different words can we use to describe what happens to somebody when they become brainwashed? Boy, dipshit, brainwashed, uh, dickhead, shit heel, sh- shit heel, chauvinist, sh- shit heel, <laughs> white nationalist, uh, shit dick, of course. Shit. Because they're always humping each other, and we th- we know that's what's going on. Oh, I'm not gonna go there, but we do. Whatever. Th- they're just so against it; they have to be hiding something. That's true. Um. So I I think he'd be a great addition to the show. He was one of my favorite people in the world. Like before he went crazy, I, he was crazy when he he was put on a front. I've come to I've come to know things about him. Um. That weren't definitely aren't who I thought he was. So, he's a chameleon of sorts, but now that he's around this extremist group, it's he's gone off the deep end. So, I heard that he funded, he paid, he bought the buses that, that transports their groups from, from one rally to another. Maybe that's why they let him hang out with them. So I, I wouldn't. Yeah. It's pretty dumb. Yeah, well. Like I said, man, before he became one of them, he, was a, he was a good dude. He's really bad at arguing, too. Like his arguments are not, not on point. No, I haven't paid attention to any in a long time. So he has become brainwashed. Um, but the whole thing was funny, and like every time the anti-fascist side of the street would play music, we were kind of waiting for a flash mob to break out or something exciting. <laughs> I didn't get to see anything exciting happen because we had to go do this wedding, so we didn't get to watch it very long. But it just seemed like the whole charade it was pointless, useless. It was nothing, no purpose. It served no purpose at all. Well, we know they have no purpose. I saw this video, one of Joey Gibson's campaign videos, because he's running for oh, Senate. Oh, that was so stupid. With his kid in the background playing with what looked like an assault rifle to me. I don't know what kind of gun it was. I'm he no definitely gunner. had his finger on the trigger, that kid did. He was playing with his gun like it was the favorite thing in the world, and proud Joey was like, it's his first gun. Look, he's so proud to hold he's it. He's like one. This kid is like one, maybe two. So what's going to happen when he plays a video game and they're shooting each other, or he sees an older kid playing a video game he's shooting each other and he goes and picks up his brand new gun that daddy bought me and decides to shoot somebody your life doesn't regen you don't get an extra life once you die you don't get to play start over at that point that you died at oh they'll also be you know i do they have juvie for three-year-olds like the kid won't be in trouble and unfortunately according to our gun laws the dad won't be in trouble either because we don't have accountability gun laws like that which makes no sense. Makes none. Even if they're 16. Right. I, I think we should have gun owner accountability. I think yeah. at 16 they can Maybe, be charged as an adult, though. You know, if I've got a gun and you steal it and you go and kill somebody, I shouldn't be charged with murder, but there should be a penalty because yeah, why I were they left able it, to get to your gun in the I, first place? Right. I left it in a position where you can get it. Now, if I file a police report saying my house was broken into and my firearms were stolen, then if you can go to court when it comes time to 
defend yourself because your gun killed somebody, you already have that police report, so it saves your butt. But if you don't, I can take anybody's gun and blow their fucking head off. But what if your gun was in a case and they broke into that case? If well, then you're good. Because and as, you have, you, as long as you file a police report as long as you file that the they police stole my gun and the case was exploded and they couldn't, they got into it and stole it. Right? Right. Either way, good. as long as you file that police report, then... As long as it's reported right. or, like, you have... I guess even if you prove that it was, like, broken into beforehand, like, I don't know if that's a thing, but you should probably just file a police report if your gun's stolen. Yeah, if your house gets broken into and your guns are stolen, file a police report. Yeah. Let the police know that your, your dipshit ass... Left some guns where a bad guy can get them. Also, you probably shouldn't tell your 16-year-old kid the code to your gun safe. Yeah. And then Cole say that's why we stress gun safety on Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a good idea. I think every kid should should take a gun safety course. I think people should, before they buy a firearm, at least a pistol or an assault-style rifle, they should be required to take gun safety. I think even any hunting rifle, you should be required to take gun safety. Um, there's so many simple aspects to a gun that many gun owners don't practice that should be common knowledge, but then again, so should driving and look at the way people drive. So if you have to have a license to drive, you should have to have a license to carry a gun and people will argue, well, it's my constitutional right. So it's driving realistically. If you have your rights taken away for one reason or another, it's because you're a dipshit. Um, your constitutional right is to have a powder musket because that's what kind of firearms they were talking about when they wrote the Constitution. If you want to argue that it's to arm yourselves fair and equally against a, a militia, whatever. Maybe they just misspelled and it was actually supposed to be bear arms. You're, supposed to, you're allowed to have bear arms hanging from your <laughs> Bear wall. arms? I don't think so. I mean, that would be... Wouldn't that be a twist? Just like everybody back then just had bear arms hanging from their wall. If they fi- didn't found an know amendment... That. Like, they just misspelled bear. The bear paws come out of the wall like this, holding the powder musket? No, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Cool. Just like, like you know how they have the uh, deer? Like yeah. The... yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's allowed to have guns, but you're all allowed to have arms of bears I on your you wall. Said. So, blood out, uh, blood out. <laughs> shout out to Bloodluster. L-S-T-R? L- Yo. L-U-S-T-R? Make sure you're following us if you're watching us. So, that probably um, makes another one. Because we need followers. We have to get to 50. Before. Hey, Nolan, are you following me? Actually, you know what? It's after 7 o'clock. Yeah, we need to go get food. Technically, you're off the hook. Oh, ha! We're, we were supposed to get 50 followers you know what? by 7 if p.m. If you guys can get us to 50 followers by 8, I'll still do it. Ah, shit, wrong one. Damn it. I'm extending it. One hour. Just went. All right. 45 minutes. That's how long this Share the crap out of it, yep. I'll drink a gallon of milk. All right. So, since nobody has volunteered to bring us dinner we're gonna cut this off we're gonna say farewell we're gonna take a dinner break uh go get something to eat go get a gallon of milk so it is up to you guys you 10 people that are watching 12 people that are watching how many followers do we need now um we're gonna do the math but it's up to you guys if you want to see anthony puke up a gallon of milk um I think Nolan isn't couldn't read the thing we just said because heard things like we're going offline for a bit, Nolan. But we'll be back in like an hour. Yeah, she's gonna uh, she'll hop on if we're. Yeah, we are definitely gonna be on at eight p.m. We have thirty-five. We need fifteen more. Fifteen more. I'll hop on it a bit when I'm done. If you guys are still on it. Uh, eight o'clock. We'll be back at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock ish. Ish. Yeah. Because there's always that. Because we're going to go grab a bite to eat since nobody wanted to volunteer to bring us any dinner. Rude. Um, and we need 15 followers. So it's up to you guys to spread the word. How many people are watching right now? We got five. Say five. Five? It, 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 five Nolan, tell all your friends to follow us. So uh, if all of you guys could get three people to follow there's us. Two of, there's three of us watching, though. So we have two. Shh. <laughs> all right, we're going to get dinner. We'll see you <laughs> later. later.